A gunman opened fire at a hospital in Tulsa. According to the Tulsa police chief, a man with a rifle walked into St. Francis Hospital and began shooting. Protests have exploded across the country as abortion rights are threatened. A leaked Supreme Court document says the justices plan to overturn Roe v. Wade. Well, today marks one week since a gunman opened fire at a Texas elementary school. 19 children and two teachers were killed. In the wake of yet another mass shooting, there's pressure to change gun safety safety laws in the U.S. And immigration will definitely be a hot topic in November's election. Just last month, Border Patrol agents reported nearly 240,000 encounters at the border. That's the highest monthly total ever. Super exciting that's happening at Buckingham Palace. The royal family gathers on the balcony to watch the Royal Air Force fly past. Take a look. Word counts. How many was that? It was 25. You know, 25. I, I could probably train up for it. You never know. Yeah, oh, but that was pretty good. Yeah. And you're not even that out of breath and you can still do the weather for us, right? Yeah, maybe. Okay, give it a <laughs> shot. I'll have to go check out Pacella with Gigi, <laughs> although I did not buy her bikini. Gigi oh. is my chihuahua. I talk about her a lot. <laughs> and it's just fun to get to see all the kids going back to class with their little backpacks. Yeah. So how big is he going to get? He's probably going to be. Oh, hello. Um, you want to come here? Just a, he won't even double in size, I don't think. But look at that. Oh, I'm he telling likes you, me. He is. It definitely tastes fresh, delicious. You've got to go try one and check one out for yourself, and we will be right back with more. Universal Studios Halloween Horror Nights is an annual tradition, one that I used to go to every year. This year's event is even bigger with more fun, scares, and star power. And we've talked a bit about the emergency service burnout coming out of the pandemic, and it's not just nurses and doctors. The number of EMT workers on the decline right now. There's also a fall in people signing to become an EMT. Russia is announcing a strategy change that some see as the most tangible sign yet of progress towards de-escalation in Ukraine. Internet scams are on the rise, constantly changing their tactics and disguises. I investigated how these scammers think so you can avoid losing out on money or worse, losing your identity. I hope you have a great start to your week. Have a wonderful evening.